We have more chili parlors in, in Cincinnati than any other city in the country, probably the world. I think that you can say Chicago pizza or you can say Philly cheesesteak and still get something that's almost the exact same in any other city. But Cincinnati chili, it's really not necessarily that easy to get in other cities. It's very regional, it's unique to Cincinnati. I think Cincinnati owns it. It's one of its main attributes. But chili in Cincinnati is unlike anywhere else. Not everybody's familiar with it. And at first, you know, they're just, they're not sure when they look at it. But ap after we have them sit down and they eat away, or a cheese gunny, we have them hooked. They, they, it seems like when they go out of town, they've got to come back for more. A lot of our new customers think, oh, bowl of chili is going to be great. And it is great, but it's not necessarily how it's designed. So the spice profile works really well over pasta or works really well with a hot dog. A lot of people find it odd that we're putting chili on spaghetti, but it, uh, once you've tasted it, uh, it really is addictive and, and the taste palate really grows on you. You can get a three-way, a four-way, or a five-way. A three-way is just pasta, chili, shredded cheddar cheese. Four-way is spaghetti, chili, cheese, and either onion or beans. And a five-way is chili, spaghetti, beans, onions, and cheese. You can spot uh, an out-of-towner when you're sitting at the chili counter and you see them twirling their spaghetti like it's Italian spaghetti because so many people have been eating it for so long. Rituals have developed on the proper way to eat your chili. I eat my chili with the fork, I cut it. And swallow. <laughs> <laughs> the Coney's a small hot dog, so it's unique, fits in your hand. We have people who write us and give us all the reasons on how they eat a Coney. They eat it with their right hand, they twist it, they, it's very ritual <laughs> food as well. Another ritual is, is what we call the cracker bomb or the, the chili parlor appetizer. Uh, one of the signature things in a chili parlor are oyster crackers uh, and hot sauce. So when people are waiting for their main order, they'll have a chili appetizer by poking a little hole in their oyster cracker, filling it with hot sauce and, and eating that, uh, that chili bomb appetizer. And while you might find consistency in the way chili is served, it's the differences from parlor to parlor that make this dish a hot topic in the Queen City. Our research shows that, that your brand of chili preference is one of the strongest opinions that you hold if you've been living in Cincinnati for, for any amount of time. I've been coming to this Gold Star for over 15 years. Every time I eat at Gold Star, the chili, um, there's always a lot of chili in with the spaghetti, and every other kind that I have tried, it's drier. Gold Star was founded in 1965. We're celebrating our 45th anniversary this year. Uh, started with just uh, one store on the east side of Cincinnati, Ohio, and since then it's grown to a regional chain of about 100 stores. The Dowd brothers came here to the United States in 1958. They uh, scrounged up about $1,200 and bought their first restaurant, which was called Hamburger Heaven at the time, and that was in Mount Washington, uh, Ohio. And that's how we came with uh, Gold Star Chili. Skyline customers are loyal, loyal people. I've been coming to this Skyline probably about 10 years now. This is like my cheers, is uh, being here at Skyline. They know me by name, they know what I like to eat here, so that's what I appreciate about it. Skyline's the best. I mean, we eat here like three or four times a week. When Nicholas was deciding with his sons, they were deciding what to name Skyline, and they couldn't agree. So they were cleaning pans, getting the restaurant prepared, and they looked out the window and saw the Cincinnati skyline from Price Hill. And they just said, let's call it Skyline Chili, because that's where our view is, and whammo. <laughs> skyline Chili today. In my travels, if I was within 100 miles, I always come to camp. There's no comparison, because this is the best. Camp Washington, first of all, we like their food. It's great, okay? But uh, 
We do enjoy meeting here, and we're from all sections of the city, and it just makes for a centralized place to meet and chew the fat. Kim Washington Chile opened in 1940. It was my uncle and his friend, and uh, I came from Greece, was uh, April 6, 1951, and I worked for them. And this is the only place I work all my life. So this year, I'm, I'm gonna be here 59 years. Well, we have a lot of customers for years, and, you know, coming here, you know. They keep telling me, every time they come, the chili is consistent the same. Well, I cannot tell you the secrets, you know, but since 1977, I changed it quite a bit, you know. So I put more spices. <laughs> We make every day about close to 60 gallons. This is ready to go. <laughs> I think it's popular based off of tradition. I mean, the food definitely is the driver. People love to eat it. It's why they come back. But it's also experience when they're eating it. There's a lot of bonding time there, and I think so when you grow up, with all those traditions and experiences, it's, it's just a very comfortable, that's where I'm gonna go to feel good kind of place. Eating chili is truly one of the defining characteristics of living in greater Cincinnati. 